Good morning, everybody. I wanted to just pop on this morning and say hello and and uh, share my little finds I found with you and just chit chat just for a, a minute. Um, first of all, I found this book here. Even more letters from a nut, extra nutty, by Ted L. Nancy and backward by Jerry Seinfeld. I like Jerry Seinfeld. Actually, I have him on TV right now. <laughs> uh, I like that one, and I like... Um, oh, we've been watching another one. Dang it, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, anyway, the Seinfeld, we watch it quite often. Anyway, I thought this would... I haven't really checked it out a whole lot as of yet. Um, hang on. I have to take my glasses off. I, I should be, I, I have bifocals, but they bug me. So, um, I don't like to wear them, but let's just open it up here. Um, a letter from Norm's Barbershop, where a cut above... Uh, December 7th, 1999, Dear Nancy, cut a, a cut above, not, please, I don't know, that was the letter, wish I can show, but I can't, oh, it was a cut, but not above, I guess, perhaps, I don't know, <laughs> Uh, who knows? Let's see. Macy's West. Welding Registry Department. I don't know. We'll have to look. Look. <laughs> We're going to have to look uh, closer into this and, and see what it's about. <clears throat> I just, I, I'm just assuming just goofy letters. What's that? I'm, you know, considering this isn't a book, I'm not going to, you know, worry about too much about, you know, the addresses and stuff. I mean, that's kind of silly. What's that? Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Hang on. Hang on just a second. This was not planned at all on the episode. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. <laughs> just so happens to be an episode over books. <laughs> Let me rewind it just a second. I wasn't looking, so... Yeah, see, that's what I heard. It's just a, it's such a stupid book. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right when I was telling you about this book here. <laughs> anyway, that was goofy. But anyway, um, I want to, I want to read a bit, you know, just kind of check it out and see what, what I'm on the dead end of a pogo stick. My dad at breakfast. Um, we won't do that today, but I just thought it was kind of, I don't know, I thought it'd be maybe interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps. But, um, I did stop by an auction house this morning on my way back out of town from dropping my daughter off at work. And, um, I think it's called Mary's Auction House. It's on the edge of Donovan. Um, or, you know, right there at the edge of town. And I found me some aluminum wire, heavy gauge, 
and I got all of this. It's not like this one here, I think, is a thinner one. There's a couple thinner ones. That one don't have a whole lot on it. Um, but I got all of it for two dollars, and I was thrilled that that was my uh buy for the day. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now why? <laughs> You may ask, why did did you buy that? Well, my daughter came home the other day, and or she came and visited with me, and she said that a lady that she works with said that she likes the Tree of Life um, stuff, you know. Um, and she told her, you know, the lady that, that I, I used to make stuff... Um, do the tree of life pendants and stuff and but i hadn't done it in a while i haven't actually done it since um uh before no now i take it back i was gonna say before my dad passed away um and but i did make some uh breast cancer awareness keychains um i forgot about them but um i these up here here's an example of this was the very last one that i made beef i mean as far as a pendant goes and i made it out of recycled copper and um that's oh shoot 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 garnet not darn it but garnet <laughs> It was almost a darn it. I couldn't think. But it's just, I mean, it's its small, as you can tell. Um, I like these garnets. They're, they're smooth to where it's not sticky or pokey next to the skin. And then I made this one here, which is a set. I used to make jewelry until... Uh, yeah, my mom and dad had a car accident, and that just kind of took it, you know. I lost the interest in making my jewelry at that time, but I'm thinking about getting back in it. But here is another garnet. It's larger, obviously. It's more of a statement piece, but it's beautiful. I, I believe it's, I mean, I love it. Um... And I made some coiled beads out of wire. Let me get that closer. I'll give you a close-up of the, the pendant. My lighting just sucks. But they're garnets and they're smooth, just like the other one. I made the frame. Made the little coil beads. And then I, I can't remember what these stones are here. And they are actual stone. They're not glass or plastic. I don't like working with plastic. And little cones on, you know, to end the little sequence. And but anyhow, that. And then I, I made the bracelet to match. And a pair of earrings. Get a hold of them. Wait, I don't have them right. Hang on. Sorry. A pair of the earrings. I love the earrings. They're so light and, you know, kind of like flowy like. They're, they're very nice. I wear them. Yeah, I couldn't sell this set. Um, I don't know. Nobody wanted it. So I was like, I took that as a sign for, you know, it's mine. So I kept it. <laughs> but, um, and then this one here was the very last one I made before their accident. And, and I, I sold it once. And then I was just like so heartbroken that 
and so I made her the other, you know, the lady who got it, um, I made her a different one. I just couldn't let this one go. I, yeah, I custom made her another one though, but she, she understood. I won't get all into that right now just because, you know, but back to my aluminum here, my $2 find, um, I want to make sun catchers. Um, tree life sun catchers and then with all of my well not all of them but all of the uh oh broken wind chime pieces that i have outside um i'm gonna go through all them and see what i have and possibly make a tree of life sun catcher wind chime what do you think I mean, they're already, I mean, the wire is already uh, pretty symmetrical. It wouldn't be hard to uh, man manipulate, blah, 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 manipulate and uh, yeah, two bucks. I thought that was an awesome, awesome find. Very happy with that. Thank you to Timmy and Chris for making me such an amazing deal. I love it. I will be back. <laughs> All right, there was that. Oh, yeah, and I was kind of, I was going through some stuff. I was getting this stuff out because I wanted to share um, my, you know, some of my other handiwork with you. And I ran across this. This here is actually me. I think I was a year old. I'm not entirely sure. This is on a little piece of metal I was a year old I am turning 53 in July the end of July so this thing is 52 years old and um, my brother the youngest boy um, he wore this before he went into the army and um when he was leaving for the army he gave it to me and i i was young um now he is nine years older than i am there's also two other boys um one is now 12 years older and then the oldest one is 13 years older but um this was the youngest boy's and he wore it and he took it off around from around his neck and he put it around mine and he told me, you know, that for me to hold on to it because he couldn't take it with him. And I've held on to it for this many years. And uh he went in military uh I can't in I can't remember how old he was, maybe eighteen. I think he was 18. But what are you, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, anyway. But, uh, yeah, this is his necklace that I'm holding on to it. <laughs> um, we did just get some uh, not such pleasant news about his health um, last week. So I'm thinking I am going to return this to him. And, um, so I can be with him on his journey, uh, even if I'm not there entirely, you know, physically, I will be there with him mentally and, and, you know, I mean, I pray for him daily anyhow, but anyhow, I think I might, um, return that to him. Maybe, I don't know, uh. I'll show it to him. See what he thinks. He might want me to go ahead and hang on to it. I don't know, but I don't that you don't you don't find things like this um very often. I mean, not anymore. I had uh, a couple of, you know, when my son was younger and my nieces and nephews, they had the the ones that was behind the glass, but this one here is 
on that. And like I said, I'm going to be 53 in July. And I was like a year old there. So, yeah, good quality there. <laughs> Pretty neat. And this here little white box, my mom, whenever I was at her house, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or probably just about a week ago, she, she handed me this box and she was like, here, you can have this. So let's see what she gave me. Oh, I can't get it open. Um, I brought the box home and then I couldn't find it. Uh, and I found it this morning. So what's in the box? It's really light. I mean, something in there, something, but it's really super light, lightweight. The sticker here it don't give any indication it's just a just a sticker oh I see a little tag lucky little bumblebee charm this busy little bumblebee Buzzing throughout the day is here to keep you company as you go along your way. Mm -hmm. It carries all good wishes and spreads loving thoughts, uh, spreads loving thoughts too, while bringing lots of good luck, especially for you. Oh, isn't that sweet? Sorry about my hands, all them spots on there. That's where I've been cleaning out them rose bushes out there. Jeez. Oh, look how adorable. Oh, it's so little. Can I do this while that dropping? Oh. All right, hang on. Let's see. That's so cute. Let me move this box. Maybe I'll just set him on the box. But you can't really, here, you can see him, right? He's just a little blown glass, little bumblebee. Isn't he adorable? He has a little stinger. <laughs> Look at his little bitty wings. So delicate. So cute. I love him, Mom. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I have a lucky little bumblebee. <laughs> yes. He brings me joy and happiness. How cute. That little face. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I'm going to stick him back in the box. And get it back opened up again. There we go. Drop my lucky little bumblebee down in there. Put the little card in there. That's cute. So adorable. And I think that's really all that I have to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, the book. I don't know. It might be. There ain't no telling what kind of letters are in there. I will, uh. I have to check it out and if I find anything that I think is share worthy I mean it's in a book they they published it so apparently they're share worthy right all right <laughs> but any that I find um interesting or whatever I will uh I will let you know and as for this other stuff in front of me I um have my phone holder thingamajiggy over here next to me set up and I am fixing to record me a amigurumi project I'm not going to tell anybody what it is um we're just going to do it and uh anyway them are that's some yarn that I picked out for the amigurumi project but I changed my mind but I will you will have to um, check out my next video oh yeah my quilt of the day 
is actually hand stitched by my mom. She hand embroidered it. I remember her working years and years and years. Well, it seemed like it, you know. <laughs> I was a kid. But yeah, it probably did. It the stuff takes time. Oh, a little bit of I was young. I've had it for a really long time. You can tell by the fabric. It's yeah. It's it is loved. Has been loved ever since she gave it to me. Um but anyway, there's my quilt, my backdrop for the day. My mom, she does amazing handiwork, too. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about um, my Tree of Life pendants. And would you all be interested in... If I were to um, pick that craft back up or start doing some uh, wind chimes, tree life, some sort of, I don't want to say stained glass because I can't do stained glass, but, you know, maybe I'll have to figure something out. But Tree of Life, uh, hanging them, hanging my jigs for outside on the porch, or even just uh, maybe in in a window on the inside. But uh, anyway, I don't know. That's just a thought, and I ran across this for two bucks, and I snagged it up. So I'm thinking it would be really cool to make a Tree of Life out of some of this. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you don't mind. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for joining me. And let me know your thoughts, any comments, ideas. Post them down below. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And from one nut to another, I'm going to let you all go. Hope you have a wonderful, safe weekend enjoy the rest of your friday and uh tgif <laughs> all right guys i love you all peace out bye bye